and welcome back. This is Good to Know, and today we're celebrating role models. This principal in Indiana went viral for his leadership and his connection with students. This is the image that's going viral online, showing a local principal giving one of his students a haircut. He was refusing to take his hat off, and so I sat down with him and asked him why and what was going on. Um, you know, he said he just got his hair cut. Um, he didn't like the way it looked, and he thought his hairline looked a little funny. Jason Smith is the principal of Stony Brook Intermediate and Middle School in Warren Township. He says he thought the eighth grade student looked fine, but understood that his student's lack of confidence in his own appearance was keeping him from going to class. I've been cutting hair, you know, most of my life. Um, I cut, um, I played college basketball and I cut a teammate's hair before games and I've been cutting my son's hair since, you know, for 17 years. So I, I had professional, um, you know, clippers and, and edgers at, at home. So I said, if I go home and, and get my clippers and line you up, will you go back to class? And he said, he said, yeah, yeah, I will. After getting cleaned up by his principal, the student held up his end of the bargain and went straight to class. While a perfect haircut may seem trivial to some, Principal Smith knows that for a black boy in middle school, having a good haircut can mean the world. You know, that age is a time for, you know, peer acceptance is huge, you know, and, and so young men, you know, especially, you know, African young men, the barbershop's a big deal, you know, in the community and looking good and, and representing and presenting yourself, you know, is, is huge for kids. While many online are saying this principal went above and beyond, Principal Smith would tell you he's doing exactly what he's supposed to do, not only because he's the principal, but because he's on a mission to change the culture of his school, a place where he wants to solve problems instead of making them worse. We're not, you know, disciplined with the hard fist. You could call and have that parent come pick the kid up for, you know, defiance. Or you can sit and get to the root of the problem and, and see, what can I do to help you? What do you need right now? Principal Smith, who is studying for his doctorate in education, says he's still searching for the best ways to create the best learning environment for his students. He says this viral haircut could be a lesson for all educators on having empathy for their students. He really was not trying to get out of class. He just thought that he would be laughed at. So um, we took the time and, and did what we could to help him. A bold side to the client. Rodney James has been a barber for 25 years. Barbering has meant a lot to me. Um, and it's been a family. The former college dropout and Army veteran has spent about 15 of those years not only tending to the hair on people's heads, but filling the heads of aspiring barbers with lessons to last a lifetime as an instructor. Just to let them know anything is possible. I'm standing here telling you that you can do anything that you would like to do. We're going to lean the client back. To watch him in action at Campbellsville University is to see his passion, not just for the art of barbering, but for his students who lovingly refer to him as coach. And if I had a teacher like Mr. James in high school, there'd been no telling what I could have done. He's an amazing teacher. Of course, in here in the shop, they learn all the technical skills of barbering, like cutting and shaving. But they also learn about something that Mr. James takes just as seriously, and that's about building connections. It's like it's like a classic barbershop feel, you know. You get the teachings, but then again, it's like you go to an actual barbershop, there's jokes, there's laughter, you know, it's like family. Even through the pandemic, Mr. James has maintained his high standards of teaching via Facebook Live, and his success rate is high. 100% of his students passing their exams to get a state license, some even earning perfect marks. And I just feel proud to be able to equip them with the skills to be successful. Mr. James is busy running two barbershops in Lexington, but he always finds the time to mentor his students, building up the industry and changing lives. Stand by. We have more amazing role models who are helping dreams take off.
My love of flying came from when I saw the air show. They see aircraft flying above them, but most of them think that it's something that's out of their reach. And I want to I want to make sure they understand that it's it's very much within their reach. Man, it feels like a lot of responsibility, but it's really freeing. Like, you get to like fly the plane. Like, it's really cool. Real people with inspiring stories. This is good to know.